So here's how to create portfolio for graphic design in Canva. First of all, open up Canva on your browser or app. From here, you can click on create a design or on the left side, click on templates. So once you're in the template section, go ahead and click on the search bar on the top. After that, you need to search for portfolio. And once you type it in, you will get to see the recommendations right below it. So click on the first option. And as you can see, we have all the templates for portfolios right here. So go through the options and choose the one that you want. I will go with the first one right here. So after you click on a template, you will get to see all the pages of the template here. So if you like it and want to use it as your template, go ahead and click on customize this template. And then CapCut will load it up for you to edit. And as you can see, our template has loaded up on Canva. And as you can see here, you can click on and select different elements of the template. And on the top, you have options to remove background, animate, position, and some more options. So here, if you select the text, you will get to see options like underline, bold, and also you can change the font and sizing of your text. And if you select the background image and click on the color option on the top, you will be able to change the color of your background just like this. And as you can see, once we've set the color here, it's changing on the template in real time. Now, let's move on to the next page. Here, you can select different parts of the text and type in whatever you want. And on the About Me section, you can click on the template text and type in your desired text. So since we're making a graphic design portfolio, let's type in Graphics Designer over here. But if you want to add something else, it's totally up to you. So once we're done with this part, let's go ahead and change the other part as well. So here on the My Mission section, you can type in something else. So I will select the text and type in Video Editor because that is one of my skills as well. You can type in your special skill. So after you're done with the titles, go over to the body text and type in some details about your skill. Now, let's move on to the next page. So here, we will try to add some images. And as you can see, we already have some images on the template. So let's take a look on the left panel. Here, you have options like elements, text, and uploads. So click on uploads and then select upload files. After that, you need to select the image that you want to upload on the template. So browse the folder on your computer where you have your desired image saved. Then select your image and click on open. Now, the image is being uploaded onto Canva. And as you can see, the image is done uploading. If you click on it, it will be added onto your Canva template. So once you add your image, all you need to do is adjust the position and size of your image by dragging the corners of the image like this. This way, you can set whichever part of the image you want to display on your template. You can move it around and make any necessary adjustments according to your preference. So I will adjust my image a little bit. This way, you can add as many images as you want and customize your template however you want. And for the images that are already here, you can adjust them if you want. So let's go ahead and click on Elements on the left panel. This is the part where you can search for any elements that you want to add to your template. So on the graphics section, I will click on See All. And if you scroll through, you will get to see a lot of options to choose from. So here on the Featured list, I will select this one right here. And then I will click on the previous image and press the Delete button. So as you can see, the image has been deleted. Here, you can put your desired element instead. And for the text part, you can change the text to your desired text. Also, if you want to add additional text lines, you can click on the text option on the left panel. So here, you can edit the text provided in the template, or you can also add a new heading by clicking on Add a Heading on the left side of the text section. That way, you can customize the heading from scratch. So now, let's select the previous heading and then click on the font option on the top. Here, we will scroll through the options on the left side and choose one that fits our needs. 
Here you have a lot of options to choose from. You can choose from the options or you can also click on the search bar and type in your desired font name. So I will go with this one. And here you can customize the text by making it bigger or smaller. Then let's go ahead and select the body text. After that, click on the font section again and choose a font for the body. And as you can see, it changed right away. This way, go through all of your text boxes and change the fonts according to your preference. So now that we're done with this page, let's go ahead to the next one. So here is the My Mission page. For this, we will click on the background color and click on the color option on the top. Then, we will adjust the color on the left side just like this. And as you can see, the color now matches with the first page. Now click on the image and click on Edit on the top. After that, if you look over to the left side, you will get to see filter options that you can choose from. And as you can see, if you select each filter, it will be added immediately. And on the effects section, you can add different effects for your image. So here, you can click on each effects and the effect will be added to your image immediately. So go through the effects and select the ones that you like. Then adjust the positioning of your image. The same way, let's go ahead and choose the next image and add an effect for this image as well. This way, you can go through each and every image and customize them with filters and effects from the left side. Just click on Edit and you will get to see all the options available for you to choose from to customize your images. So, I'll just go ahead and add the same effect to all the images on this page. You can also skip this part if you want. And once you're done adding all the effects, just go ahead and make sure the position and alignment of the images are according to your preference. So once you're done with the image, click on the top panel right here and click on the color option on the top. After that, you can choose a color for this part as well from the left side. And we will also change the size of the text. And as you can see, all the text on the top from this template is pretty small. So we will select each of them and increase their sizes. It's important to keep your text visible and easy to read. You can also put underlines or bold the text if you want. So now, let's move on to the next page. So here, this is the My Favorite Portfolio option. Here, we have some pre-added template images. Let's keep them here for now. For this page, let's look into how we can make the text a bit different. So, from the left side, we will go ahead and choose this text preset. So after we've added it, you can position it according to your preference. So let's go ahead and put it right here in the middle. Then delete the unwanted template elements. So after it's set, select the text and then type in whatever that you want and it will be replaced immediately. Then adjust the size of the text box if the text is going out of line. This way, you can add external elements or text presets to your template to make it look different and unique. Now, let's move on to the next page. This is a page for your teammates, but you can also customize it to make it your brand page. So, if you select brand on the left side, you can add your logos, brand colors, and all the other elements for your brand. But that is a pro feature. So, for now, we will go to the elements tab and search for design. And as you can see, we have a lot of graphics to choose from. And for now, we will go through the options and choose one from here. So delete the previous image, then select one from here, then adjust its position on the template. And since you are a graphics designer, I would recommend adding your own designs. But for this tutorial, we will go ahead with these pre-made ones. So add your creative designs on the page and then Rename the page to My Designs. So I will click on the text and type in My Designs. So after adding the text, go ahead to the font section on the top and choose a font for your title. You can keep your title fonts the same throughout your portfolio. That way, it will look professional. And you can also add names for your designs and also the description about how you made it and what inspired you to make these designs. Now, I will click on this image and click on the trash icon on the top, then select Delete Image. After that, I will add another element on this section. 
And as I mentioned before, this is where your designs will go. So add your designs and position them in a way that looks good. So I will name them as design1, design2, and so on. And once you're done designing your portfolio, go through each and every page and make sure everything is in order. Then once you're done, click on the share button on the top right corner and click on download. Here, you will get to see all your download options. You can download in PDF or choose a different format. After that, just set your page settings and then click on download. You can also copy your project link and send it to anyone for them to work on it. And that is exactly how to create portfolio for graphic design in Canva.